The average American spends a whopping 3 hours and 31 minutes on their smartphones daily. That's countless times scrolling through Instagram, numerous Netflix specials, endless memes. Why is Jason Derulo dancing like this? <laughs> If you're going to spend all that time on your phone, I mean, you might as well be productive while doing it. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for coming to another installment of Mental Health Mondays, a series dedicated to improving your personal life and just giving you tips and tricks and things as it relates to mental health. So if you're new to the channel, I want to make sure that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of this vital information on any other action. And if you're one of my OGs, you know, make sure that you smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm can see it. YouTube sees the content, shares it. Everybody comes to my channel. My channel grows. I'm happy. I mean, at this point, you get the point. Today's episode is dedicated to increasing your productivity with technology. See, I have three apps that I use daily that have just, I mean, skyrocketed my whole productivity during quarantine. Now, granted, quick side note, I'm not sponsored by any of these apps to say this. I'm just showing you what I use personally and that I personally recommend. So without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. App number one, Google Calendar. The literal foundation of my productivity apps is Google Calendar. I mean, it's hands down the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world as it relates to calendar apps. I love the ability to organize my different apps through colors, whether that's school related, YouTube, work, whatever the case may be. And that's something that I simply lack with the standard Apple calendar. I also love the cohesiveness of the app. Whatever event that I have on my phone is instantly shared to my MacBook. So that means I could be out and about wherever and I'm always having access to my calendar. I could be at a friend's house, a, a business meeting. It literally does not matter. I'm always gonna have access to my calendar. And it's so important, especially if you don't have your phone or your MacBook on you. The notification system integrated within the app is great too. I mean, I'm always getting reminders on quickly approaching deadlines and it ensures that I never miss a step ever. Like ever, I don't miss. <laughs> Trying to remember every little thing is it's just too much. I mean, play it safe, use a calendar, stay organized. I promise you your mental health and mental clarity will just increase tenfold. I'm the SGA president of my school, so I have countless amount of meetings and networking events and yada yada stuff to do, whatever. So if I have all of these in my mind all the time, I mean, I'm, it's, go, I'm going to forget, y'all. Like, it's nowhere that I'm not going to forget. So, like I said, just make sure that you download a good calendar app that you can use frequently and watch how simple everything just, it just opens up. I literally schedule FaceTime meetings in my in my calendar because if it's not in my calendar it's, it's not happening it's, it's not happening at all app number two streaks legendary comedian jerry seinfeld was asked one day by a budding young comedian by the name of brad isaac how can he possibly become a better comedian seinfeld said the way to be a better comic was to create better jokes and the way to create better jokes was to write every day See, Seinfeld had this big calendar where he would get a sharpie and put an X on the days that he completed a particular task. After a while, you start to see your progress in these tasks, and the last thing that you want to do is break that streak. Productivity gurus then dubbed this practice the Seinfeld strategy. The app streak plays on this method and allows you to set personal goals and tasks that you want to do every single day. It could be reading, journaling, working out, whatever. The goal is that you pick an activity or activities and you do them every single day. It's simple. Personally, I keep track of how many times I do my morning routine, work out, create content, whatever. But for you, the possibilities are literally endless. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's just super rewarding to see your app just turn gold because you've seen all of the things that you said you were gonna do and you did it. It's an amazing feeling. App number three, minimal. My final app for today's video is Minimalist. Minimalist is a great to-do list app that allows you to keep track of everything that you want to accomplish in the day. Though you are open to a lot of great features with the free version of the app, like actually creating the to-do list and setting reminders, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you purchase the full version of the app to unlock the app's fullest potential. Now, when I bought it, it was just $5 and I've already seen a major return on the investment. One of the best features of the app is its integrated Pomodoro technique for task completion. 
This method was developed in the early 1990s by an entrepreneur by the name of Francesco Sorello. This method calls for you to work on tasks and intervals, the first 25 minutes dedicated to actually doing the task, and then you take a five minute break. Then you do this cycle four times, and then you take a longer break for 30 minutes. This method has literally saved my life and my sanity and has just made me so much more productive. Well, that's all for today's Mental Health Monday episode. So if you enjoyed the video, just make sure that you, that you leave a like on that guy. And also subscribe to the channel for more mental health content every single Monday, 4 p.m. Without hesitation, I'm, I'm really doing it. I'm, I'm really being consistent with the content. Like, help, I'm trying to grow. Um, as I really just want, I really want everybody to hear the message. And hear the good word. Also, in the comment section below, tell me ways in which you have been productive or apps that you use, whatever. I really want to, to see that, you know? And, uh, I'm not just a teacher, I'm a learner too, so let me know some things and trips that, trips, tips that I could use for my daily life too. More little story, mental health and productivity are directly correlated. So making sure that your life is organized and concise is one of the best practices to really take care of your mental state. As always, thank y'all for y'all support. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and the Twitters for daily mental health content, daily content, lifestyle, all of that good stuff. Uh, other than that, if you don't want to, you know, follow me on the grams uh, and on the tweets, on the tweets, if you don't want to do that, I'll see you next week. It's all love, family. <laughs> I wrote this in my bedroom, hoping I could flex on. Maybe on an island that I could fly my jet to. Calling to my shawty that she can clear her schedule. Both gotta be ballin', I know she wanna flex too. Hella guap.